road. There's something about the road. Maybe it's the locker rooms. Never that big, never too comfortable. It brings us all closer together. Coming off the bus and walking into these arenas, sometimes you step off and the wind or the cold hits you right in the face. Even though we've been there many times already, it still reminds us we're not at home. The road fans, they do their job. We hear the boos. You can almost feel the animosity in the buildings. But that just brings us together, gets us ready for the road ahead and the mission at hand. There's something about walking in this place through these doors and the hallways of buildings that house history. Sitting in locker rooms where some of the best guys ever to play this game once sat. Walking out of the tunnel into the floor of an arena you have heard about since you were a kid. Seeing your feet on the same surface where you watch guys make history, it never gets old. To the Big Apple, just a few miles away from the site of the big game tomorrow. But today it is not the Super Bowl. It is the two-time defending NBA champions in town to take on the New York Knicks, a team trying to get back in the playoff race. The Miami Heat battle the Knicks tonight right here on Sun Sports. Oh, John Friday, you know what that means. They got to deal with Carmelo Anthony tonight. He is playing awfully well right now. Looking forward to this matchup with Ian LeBron. Yeah, he and LeBron after Durant. LeBron and Chris Bosh is an all-star. We got all kinds of good stuff to talk about, CB. But yeah, LeBron is the one we're focusing on. He likes the spotlight. Let's see, John, the Super Bowl tomorrow. The bright lights, the big city. Big time LeBron tonight. Garden's going to be bumping. On the night before Super Bowl 48 in New York City, a primetime NBA matchup. It's a mild Saturday evening in the Big Apple. And a terrific game featuring the two-time defending NBA champions from Miami and a New York team getting big results from a small lineup. We welcome you inside that building, Madison Square Garden, tonight the second of four meetings between the Miami Heat and the New York Knicks. And we always hope you enjoy every pass and basket right along with us. And as the Heat take the floor in New York, we remind you that Miami Heat basketball on Sun Sports is presented by AT&T Uverse. We hope you're enjoying the weekend. We thank you so much. Good weak side pass for New York. Smith was wide open for that last three-point attempt. Nice pass by Battier for the two-handed trucker from Bob. Boy, what great awareness by Shane. He knew the chance. type of offense with the two point guards of both Felton and Prigioni of getting any kind of penetration. That's where they're really deadly. When they can get in the paint, they break you down, and they start setting people up either for threes or easy layups like that. And the Heat forced 18 turnovers. They scored 17 points off those turnovers. They made them play slower than they wanted to play. The Knicks have been averaging 116 plus points a game the last four wins that they've had. They won four games in a row, scoring that high pace uh, offense. They were limited to 91 points here this game, and a lot of it had to do with just the overall consistency. Great job for a full 48 minutes by the Heat. Defensive end of the floor, and coach in the fourth quarter especially Miami just locked the Knicks down, held New York to 20 points in the fourth quarter. And again, 17 points off the 18 New York turtles. And it all starts with the bigs coming up and really influencing the guy with the ball. And it forces the opponent to try to take uh, shots with the shot clock winding down. And, you know, taking shots they don't normally take. You get them out of their comfort zone. You make some steals. You know, with all of that, Eric, he was 21 for 39 in the second half, shooting the basketball better than 50%. So just an outstanding job by the team tonight at both ends of the floor, really dug in. It's the movement to make plays on three points. Look at the ball movement inside out here. Quick catch and shoot by Shane Battier. The three-point shooting was very good early. They tried to pack the paint to take away the drive. Look at LeBron go inside and kick it out to Rio there. He makes eight three-pointers. And I thought that really helped spread out the floor uh, and led to the Knicks really falling apart defensively. But LeBron's hitting those, boy, you are in deep, deep trouble. And Shane had an exceptional day, four of seven. Uh, beyond me, first of all, was the defense. Uh, he did a very good job just contesting and making things tough for Carmelo Anthony. You weren't expecting him to have the kind of offensive effort he had. He was tremendous. He winds up knocking down four of seven beyond the arc. Actually gets a driving layup there, something that we don't see much from him at all. Um, and he made the defense have to respect him. You know, normally they can help off and play off him, and they weren't able to do that. Mario Chalmers, meantime, and this is a guy, John, every game quietly, and you always say to me as we're watching the game, man, does he do the little things right? He is. He's really improving his overall 
game in terms of decision making and floor leadership and his penetration you see these last few laps really really high notch decision making he is beating his man and then drawing the shot blocker and still able to finish not easy when you're an undersized point guard but he uses his speed and he uses his strength and shields the ball well with his body so in basketball and the best player in the world looked like it all game long. He did. He really led by example. Again, look at this move on the break. Outstanding. Can't double team him when he's on the break. Off the dribble. Makes it look so easy, that spin move. Then he gets deep here beyond the arc. When he's making that shot, you got to come out and guard him. Then it allows him to even be quicker off the dribble. Look at him blow by Tyson Chandler. Somehow takes the hit and is able to finish. Uh, he did a good job getting to the free throw line there. And then look at the steal in the defensive end. Well, being able to get out again, they can't double team him if he's out running the break. Yeah, and the, you mentioned just the, the efficiency inside, outside. Johnny was 13 of 22, and I mentioned the 38, 7, and 6. I mean, he literally did it all today. Yeah, the six steals that he had on the defensive end, too, which we're not seeing here other than that one run out. You know, as a season high for him, he did a tremendous job on the defensive end. On to Dwayne Wade. He didn't do it alone, did LeBron. D. Wade tonight. John, what did you see from him, his ability to slash and just look really quick? Yeah, he looked lively, very athletic. He was in a serious attacking mode. Every time he had the ball, he was really looking to try to put it down and go to the basket with that probing dribble. Uh, look at him here moving well without the basketball. I think that's something he's really developed in the last few years because he doesn't have the ball a lot in his hands. He, this time he catches Tim Hardaway Jr., not seeing the man on the ball, cuts back door, and LeBron, of course, finds him in rhythm. Yeah, and as Wade, those 33 minutes, 10 of 15, shooting in rhythm, shooting well, something he certainly needed to do. D-Wade with 22, LeBron with those 30. By the way, John, the eighth time in his career he scored at least 30 in Madison Square Garden. He one time did score 52, so LeBron loves the spotlight of the Big Apple. Feeling super on this day before the Super Bowl. Right before Super Bowl 48, the Heat finish off well. They win by 15, 106 to 91. The Heat record is now 33 and 13. The Knicks fall the 19 and 28. Miami stays three games behind Indiana in the chase for the best record in the Eastern Conference. 30 points for LeBron, 22 for Wade, 10 for actually nine for Norris Cole, who had six key points in the fourth quarter. But Dwayne Wade had a marvelous game. 22 points on 10 for 15 shooting. He's waiting in the winner's circle with Jason Jackson. Thank you very much. Nice to get a win here in New York, finally, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not a bad place to win, um, never. But, um, you know, we had a good game plan, and uh, we came out and executed. Um, you know, coach wanted to see Miami Heat basketball, and I thought we, we gave him that tonight. How nice was it to be able to stay with what you are, not having to adapt uh, to the small ball that this team has been playing, to have your bigs out there and be able to pull out the win? No, uh, it was real nice. You know, we was able to uh, have our bigs out there to protect us. Um, you know, they beat us a lot last time on their pick and rolls, on their ball movement. So our bigs did a great job of working hard on that, but getting back to the rim as well. Uh, so it's always good when you can play with bigs on the floor. We talked about it a little bit yesterday. Is it nice to uh, be able to get a team that is flowing nicely like uh, Warmer and change that for them? Yeah, well, it's just nice to come on the road and get a win. Uh, you know, we're going to be on the road for a long time. Yes, sir. Uh, come, so it's starting to come and get this road win. Uh, now we go watch the Super Bowl, go home for the day and a half, and then we're right back on the road. So this is a good start. You ready for Super Bowl Sunday? Going to kick the feet up, cheer for... Yesterday, you told me it was all about Gatorade now, and it was all yeah. Peyton. Well, tomorrow's all about my son. It's daddy day. <laughs> my son's birthday. You know, Zaire's turning 12 coming up, so I, I got to wake up early in the morning, cook breakfast, and do all the good stuff. So it's daddy day tomorrow. Then I'll watch the Super Bowl later. We're going to get home early, so just stay yeah. up. Yeah, I know. I'm going to just stay up, get, get the eggs ready, everything. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much. Congratulations on the way. All right, my man. All right. Dwayne Wade, victory on the road. Finally, two losses in Brooklyn, a previous loss in this building. And the Heat have won today. It is a final, 106-91. We're coming back to wrap things up. Stay right there. Video. I, I said, let's keep going. Let's keep going. But tonight we're going to put a wrap on it. It's time for John to get some rest. He's been up bright and early. We're glad that you stayed up late with us tonight to watch the Heat's 106-91 win in New York. Once again, that's the final. You want to watch a replay of the game. It's coming up in just a few minutes at 1230. Heat basketball and Sun Sports comes back Monday. It's the Pistons. Heat live delivered by Papa John's at 7. This has been a presentation of Sun Sports, your exclusive home for Miami Heat basketball. For John, I'm Will. Enjoy the Super Bowl and enjoy a final take.
Have you ever seen a shooting star that's running through the atmosphere? Have you the river caught your eye and made the whole world disappear? Have you ever felt the beat so strong that your body can't help but dance? I said the light, the heat, the night completely put you in a trance. Don't I feel like a star tonight? Gonna fly at the speed of light. Follow me and we'll be alright. So don't stop, don't stop. Just keep on holding. The wheels start spinning, you keep on winning. I think it's gonna last. 